What is going on guys, it is CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved update video. So patch version 248 has finally been released after much delay and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Capro Sutures. This is the new little reptile like baby version of the Sarko if you prefer and this guy just got added in today. He is an absolute beast and so far I've been loving this guy. I also do have the Charlie Cotherian down there, but we'll be taking a look at him a little bit later. So I did summon this guy because I couldn't find him in the wild. I'm not too sure if it's because I'm on center and the dinos haven't been added yet and I haven't updated my game, or I'm just really bad at looking for them. Because I couldn't see any anyway, I looked through a good 10 minutes around the swamps and every place that they're supposed to spawn, couldn't find any, so I gave up and spawned this guy in. If you want to spawn this guy in on your single player world or if you're on a server and you're an admin, the code for it is, doo -doo 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 -doo, if I can find it, there it is. So it says cheat summon capro sutures underscore character underscore bp underscore c. You type that in, it will spawn a random capro in, it'll be female or male, it doesn't really have a specific one and the level will be completely random. Now this girl here, this capro sutures, I did spawn her in and she has a pretty understandable sort of, I'd say it's understandable amount of stats. The dossier does mention that the Capro Suchez is very frail, hence why its health is so low. Now her health was on 320, I've upgraded it once and it went up to 337 so it went up by 13 points. Now that isn't much at all, that is like barely any actually. I thought it would go on at least to 400, but obviously it is understandable considering this dino is very frail, very fragile, and it's more to do with its damage than anything else. It has 490 stamina, but I'm just going to say 500 to round it off because numbers like that, the rod, annoy me. And weight is 168 for this specific one here. Now that's good, I'd say the weight is roughly averaging from 150 to anything higher. Probably could go lower if it was level 1, but who really tames level 1s? I don't think anybody has a level 1 or would tame a level 1. They seem pretty low and I don't even think they spawn at level 1. But anyway, I'm coming off track here. Um, yeah, level 35 has 168 weight and that is enough for it to carry me, all my gear and my armor. So if I had a weight limit of this, if I tamed this on a server, it would perfectly suit my sort of style and the way... I go about transporting my character and all my gear. Now, the Capro Suchus has three attacks. It has standard left click, which is just a bite. C does a sort of a lunge bite or a grab attack, because this little girl here, in fact, does grab dinos and you can run around with them, which is pretty cool. I'll show you in a second. And if you right click, she jumps with her mouth open, which does loads of damage. Watch the end, there you go. With her mouth open, that's so cool, I find it really funny. So the C attack definitely does pick up dinos, and I'll show you right now, if I go up to this dodo and press C, I have now grabbed onto him, or here, whichever this creature is, and the dodo, this male dodo here is stuck. And there's a lot of like saliva, I think it is, coming out of the Capro's mouth, or maybe it's to do with draining stamina. So if I press C again to drop the dodo, it seems to manage to escape uh, like easily. Maybe it can't run, I'm not too sure. It's either the draining stammer effect or it's just kind of dribbling. And then if you left click with it in its mouth, you can't eat it. Which is pretty cool. Now, I'm pretty sure a right click does the same. You just get a lunge attack. So, if I find a dodo, here's one. And lunge. I just flew right over it and basically just one shot it. It does loads of damage. So I think that's sort of their main attack there, sort of a lunge grab attack. And you can imagine why these guys would be sort of deadly. If you were in the swamp just standing on the shore, bang, you're dead. This guy's going to jump right out after you. And in fact, in the wilds, they do jump. And I'll show you in just a second. They, it's kind of scary how they just jump out of the water and get you. You can also grab onto uh, piranhas and bring them to land. If I don't miss, that is. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, dear. Let's get out of there. See, I took one bite from a Megalodon. 
and look at its health. It's gone down by quite a bit and it's already bleeding. So that shows just how frail this capo actually is. Uh, I want to quickly show you that you can bite onto fish. Here we go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's get out of there. Oh no, I got one, see? I got a Mega Piranha and then I brought it out onto the shore and it died, obviously. It wouldn't survive out of water. Now, the Capro does isn't very good at farming. I just ate that Piranha and let me get another one here. So there's another one. I just eat it. I get about five fish meat per one where if I like dug it up with a pickaxe or an axe I would have got a lot more. Now the Capro saddle you unlock at level 40. Uh, I have researched it I believe. Yep, there it is. You unlock it at level 40 and it costs 28 engram points. So you go to craftables and it costs 165 hide, 120 fiber and it does cost 65 chitin or keratin that does not really matter at all. And then obviously you, you put it on this on this one here and then you can just go off and ride along. Right, so let's spawn one of these guys in view and show you that they actually do lunge at the water. It's really, really scary. So let's go down here is the spawning code. Bang. Make sure I'm on guard. Oh, that was very close. You've been poisoned. Your stamina is decreasing. And he's got me in his teeth. He's got me in his mouth. Get off. He's actually grabbed me and running around with me. That is so awesome. Look. <laughs> Just look at this. Look at him go. And now where is he going to take? Oh, he's going to take me into the water. This is not good. This cannot end well. Get off. Get off me. There's like no way for, to get him to let go. This is really strange. Right, so now that I have infinite stats, I'm going to have to enable fly and somehow get this guy to stop. I'm going to have to punch him to death. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, I've knocked him out. I've knocked him out to level four. I want to see his stats anyway. Hmm, okay. But yeah, guys, as you can see, they do lunge themselves out of the water. Um, can we get to Let's put one actually in there. Oh, it's kind of a greeny colour. I guess like leaping around. If I put walk. Oh no, not land on it. Don't land on it. No, 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 no. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that? What's this? If I get its attention. Oh! It's gone. It's in the water. It's taking it and spam off with it. The list has gone. Now the Maggie's fighting there. Let's put another one down. Uh, oh! No, no, no! Oh, that was so close. Look at it, it's gonna lunge at me now. It's gonna fly. Oh! <laughs> that is just hilarious. Really is hilarious. I love this dino already. I'm loving it. And it just got wrecked. Literally stands no chance. See, that's the. This good that the Capro has really low health to compensate for its OP attack because once it grabs you it's got you you know you can't get out unless you kill it or knock it out so it's good that it has low health otherwise if it had like a you know, couple thousand it'd be able to just run around with you in its mouth all day long but yeah that's brilliant absolutely brilliant uh, its running speed is sort of a letdown it's pretty slow I thought it would be a little bit faster not really used to transport just bite this pig here. Come back. Come back. But oh yeah, you can also pick up delos. There you go. Fit an entire delo in its mouth. I'm not too sure as to which dinos it can pick up. Obviously, I think it's going to be anything under the sort of the size of a uh, what do you call them? Oviraptor. That's the one. Anything under the size of an oviraptor, you should be able to pick up. I wouldn't imagine you'd be able to pick up anything else. I've tried on bigger dinos, it doesn't work at all. Which makes perfect sense. You wouldn't be able to pick up a Rex of this guy now, that would just be absurd. But yes guys, that is it. This is the beautiful Capro. 
the newest and latest greatest dino to appear in the update there is another two and they'll be coming out with videos uh, pretty soon but i'm doing this guy first get him out of the way i need to find out some more information on the other two before i jump straight into a video of them uh kibble wise i'm not too sure as to how you kibble tame this guy i need well i'll leave a link down in the description to the wiki page with the kibbles on it hasn't been updated at all so i have no idea and nobody else has found out either the kibbles so i'm one I'm not going to say I'm the first person who's done this video, but I'm one of the first people who've had to actually put out a video on the new dinos. So there is going to be another two videos coming out pretty soon, so stay tuned to see them. And in terms of taming this guy, I definitely recommend you use Trank Dart. It has such a low amount of health, you're probably going to end up killing it with Trank Arrows. So anyway guys, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned to the channel, there will be another two videos coming out within the next hour or two, not too short, depending on when I put them together and everything. Editing does take quite some time along with rendering and uploading, so, you know, if I'm a little bit late, then it's I'm not going to be too far off. But, yes guys, that is it for this video, just want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way, shape or form, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved videos. And I'll see you all very soon.